Bhakti, there has been a lot of excitement which has gripped the entire nation, also uh, globally, not only the nation, and also the reflection here is also in the entire Northeast. Right now, Ranak, I am at the St. Javier's School in Dibrugar, one of the prestigious, prestigious educational institution in Dibrugar, and you can see that the students are, are all lined up. They are in very much excitement, along with the teachers also. Uh, Ronak, first of all, we have with us uh, Father Sanjeev Ekka, who is the principal of this institution. Father Ekka, uh, definitely a historic day for India. India is uh, shortly uh, all set to witness history in the making. So what are the arrangements for the students today you have? As per the guidance given by, to us by the government of India and Assam, the IS office, we are asked to uh, basically enrich and enlighten the students to go about how to watch this uh, soft landing of Chandrayaan 3. Therefore, as per guidance evening, we will have the evening telecast of it. As of now, we already had a little bit of training to the students how to watch about it, and uh, basically they are shown the uh, websites and the apps and the Facebook Live, wherever it is uh, given to them. I'm really happy that we are getting an opportunity to witness this historic event of India. Definitely, the students are already very much excited. I would like to straightly go to the student. Uh, what are your reflections, what are your feelings today as India is going to witness history within some time from now? Yeah, we are very happy uh, as this is a historic moment for the day. And uh, India is, uh, if today this mission will be successful, then India will be the first country ever to reach on the south pole of lunar, uh, of, uh, lunar surface. And that's why we are very hopeful that India will surely success this mission. Much hopeful indeed. What is your view? Uh, <clears throat> it's a very proud moment for all in the Indians. And as a students, we too have uh, faith in our country that we will achieve these higher feats. And in, in future achievements, we will be able to achieve new, new heights. What do you like to say about the scientists who are involved in this entire mission? We, I would like to say about the scientists that are from Assam, uh, Sayan Dutta, who had contributed much about the rocket of Chandrayaan. Uh, he is the director, project director of this mission. And I am very about, happy that he is the, uh, we, he made us uh, proud about this. Thank you. Thank you. Equally, the girls are, we are also excited. Oh, what is your view? India is going to witness history. Uh, we are very proud on this topic that India is uh, launching its third lo lunar project. However, in the world, it is a th it is a first. We Indians will be the first one to launch uh, to, to land on the south pole of the moon. If it is successful, then it is not only achievement for India but for for the whole world. And we just hope and we just happy in this topic that we uh, being an Indian, we are in this uh, in we are in this point that it. Uh, we are sure enough. Uh, you are uh, again. Uh, how do you like to celebrate? How do you like to describe the moment? As a citizen of India, I feel very proud that India has become the first country in the entire world to launch a mission to land on the South Pole. I am very hopeful that India will bring bring glory to the world. And yes, I am very happy. And a word for the tiring scientist. Yes, they have worked hard a lot, as they are great scientists. This is an opportunity to prove themselves, as they have always been proving themselves. And as an Assamist, I have also feeling very proud that the launch director is from Assam, Sri Sayan Dutta.